Welcome to the global defense battle. The Tata Airbus C-295 is a tactical military transport aircraft jointly developed by Tata in India and Airbus in Spain. This aircraft is a modern version of the original CASA C-295, initially designed by the Spanish manufacturer CASA, now part of Airbus. The main purpose of the C-295 is to provide tactical airlift, which means it's used for transporting troops, equipment and cargo in various military missions. The C-295 was developed to replace older transport planes like the Avro HS-748 in the Indian Air Force. The C-295 stands out for its ability to operate in remote areas and short runways, making it valuable in difficult terrains. On the other hand, the Y-9 transport aircraft is a Chinese medium-sized military transport aircraft developed by Shanxi Aircraft Corporation, part of the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. The Y-9 is an improved version of the Y-8 a model inspired by the Soviet, AN-12. It was primarily developed to support the People's Liberation Army in transporting troops, equipment, and supplies across China's vast territory. The Y-9 also plays a vital role in China's military operations, with capabilities for aerial delivery, medical evacuation, and rapid response missions. And today, we will compare both of these aircrafts, India's Tata Airbus C-295 versus China's Y-9 transport aircraft. So let's start. Talking about the design first, the C-295 features a sleek, modern design focused on versatility and efficiency for tactical missions. Its wings are designed with a high wing configuration, which means the wings are positioned on top of the fuselage. This design allows better stability, especially when flying at low altitudes, which is crucial for transport operations. The C-295's wing structure also includes winglets at the tips, which reduce drag and improve fuel efficiency. It has a conventional T-tail design, where the tailplane is mounted at the top of the vertical stabilizer, helping with control at different speeds and enhancing maneuverability. The fuselage of the C-295 is relatively short and compact, optimizing it for quick landings and takeoffs on shorter, less prepared runways. In terms of weight, the C-295 has a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 23,200 kilograms, and its dimensions include a length of around 24.5 meters, a height of 8.6 meters, and a wingspan of about 25.8 meters. In contrast, the Y-9 has a larger and heavier design suited for extensive transport needs. It also follows a high-wing design, giving it the ability to carry heavy loads without sacrificing much stability. However, the Y-9 does not have winglets like the C-295, but its wings are wide and slightly swept back, giving it a steady flight at higher speeds and altitudes. It uses a conventional tail design, where the horizontal stabilizers are mounted on the vertical stabilizer at the rear. This helps maintain stability, especially with heavier payloads. The maximum takeoff weight of the Y-9 is significantly higher, around 61,000 kilograms, reflecting its role in heavier military transport. In terms of dimensions, it has a length of approximately 36 meters, a height of 11.6 meters, and a wingspan of 38 meters. These features make it larger and more capable of carrying bulkier equipment, but it also limits its ability to operate on shorter runways, unlike the C-295. Overall, the C-295 prioritizes flexibility and efficiency, while the Y-9 focuses on capacity and durability for larger-scale missions. Now coming to the engine and power, the C-295 is powered by two Pratt & Whitney Canada PW-127G turboprop engines, each generating a thrust of around 2,645 horsepower. The turboprop design helps the C-295 maintain good fuel efficiency, especially at low to medium altitudes. It has a maximum cruising speed of about 480 kilometers per hour. It offers an impressive range of up to 2,100 kilometers without refueling, making it suitable for medium-range missions. In terms of altitude, the C-295 can operate at a maximum service ceiling of around 7,620 meters, allowing it to fly over most terrains while staying within a comfortable altitude range for efficient transport. On the other hand, the Y-9 from China is equipped with four WJ-6C turboprop engines, with each producing around 5,100 horsepower, an upgraded version of the engines used in earlier Chinese aircraft models. With four engines instead of two, the Y-9 can handle heavier loads and operate over longer distances, although this does result in higher fuel consumption compared to the C-295. The maximum cruising speed of the Y-9 is approximately 650 kilometers per hour, 
allowing it to cover long distances faster than the C-295. The Y-9 has an extended range of up to 5,700 kilometers without refueling, significantly more than the C-295, and is suited for long-haul missions across vast territories. The Y-9 can reach a maximum altitude of 10,400 meters, which gives it the ability to fly over high-altitude terrain and operate efficiently in higher airspaces. Overall, while the C-295 focuses on operational economy, the Y-9 emphasizes capacity and extended reach, with each aircraft fulfilling different needs in military transport. Now talking about the payload capacity in Carbo Bay, the C-295 is designed to carry a maximum payload of around 9,250 kilograms. Its cargo bay is spacious enough to accommodate up to 71 soldiers or 50 paratroopers for airborne missions. The bay is approximately 12.7 meters in length, 2.7 meters in width, and 1.9 meters in height, providing flexible space for different types of cargo. The C-295 also includes a rear loading ramp, which significantly improves its loading and unloading capabilities. On the other hand, the Y-9 has a larger payload capacity, capable of carrying up to 25,000 kilograms of cargo. The cargo bay of the Y-9 is also more spacious, with dimensions of about 16.2 meters in length, 3.2 meters in width, and 2.35 meters in height, making it suitable for large and bulky items. The Y-9 can carry around 106 fully equipped soldiers or 60 paratroopers, giving it a significant advantage in large-scale troop transport operations. Like the C-295, the Y-9 is equipped with a rear loading ramp, which facilitates smooth loading and unloading of heavy equipment and vehicles. Talking about cockpit and avionics, the C-295's cockpit is equipped with advanced digital avionics designed to support efficient operation and enhance situational awareness for pilots. It features a glass cockpit layout and includes large, multifunctional screens that allow pilots to access flight data, weather updates, and mission-related information easily. The avionics in the C-295 are developed by Airbus and are built to NATO standards, offering capabilities like GPS-based navigation, autopilot, and advanced communication systems. The C-295 also includes features like a heads-up display, which projects critical flight data directly onto the pilot's line of sight, helping improve focus and reducing reaction time in complex missions. On the other hand, the Y-9 also has an advanced cockpit, but with some differences in features compared to the C-295. The Y-9 cockpit has a digital layout with modern avionics, including digital displays that provide essential information about flight conditions, system status, and navigation, while not as compact as the C-295's glass cockpit. The avionics suite in the Y-9 includes systems like GPS navigation, tactical radar, and advanced autopilot for enhanced mission autonomy. The Y-9 also includes a forward-looking infrared system, which allows pilots to see thermal images and detect ground targets or obstacles, even in low visibility conditions. While both cockpits support complex mission needs, the C-295 emphasizes pilot ease and efficiency, while the Y-9's avionics prioritize extended operational range and adaptability in varied combat scenarios. Regarding some additional features, the C-295 is highly versatile and can be configured for various mission types, including medical evacuation. In a medical evacuation role, the C-295 can be equipped with up to 24 stretchers along with medical staff. For special operations, the C-295's ability to operate on short and unpaved runways allows it to perform covert infiltration and exfiltration missions. Additionally, the C-295 is well-suited for airdrop missions, capable of carrying 50 paratroopers who can be deployed through its rear ramp. The aircraft is also equipped for cargo airdrop, with systems that allow for precise delivery of supplies and equipment to remote locations. This multi-mission capability enhances the C-295's role in tactical operations, supporting both personnel and supply drops as needed. On the other hand, the Y-9 is also designed to support multiple mission profiles, including medical evacuation. In its medical evacuation configuration, the Y-9 can carry more stretchers than the C-295 due to its larger cargo bay accommodating up to 40 stretchers with additional space for medical teams and equipment. For special operations, the Y-9's range and payload capacity allow it to perform infiltration and exfiltration tasks over long distances, transporting special units along with their equipment. In terms of airdrop capabilities, the Y-9 can carry up to 60 paratroopers, surpassing the C-295 in troop deployment. 
It can also conduct cargo airdrops of heavier equipment, making it ideal for missions that require substantial supplies or vehicles to be delivered directly to remote or hostile areas. Overall, both the aircrafts are capable of handling medical evacuation, special operations, and airdrop missions, but each has different strengths. Coming to the cost, the C-295's total project cost for procuring 56 C-295 aircraft for the Indian Air Force is approximately $2.9 billion. This includes the delivery of 16 aircraft in flyaway condition from Spain and the manufacturing of 40 aircraft in India. The unit cost of the C-295 is estimated to be around 30 million USD, though this can vary based on specific configurations and additional equipment. On the other hand, the Shan CY-9's detailed information on the development and unit costs is limited due to the lack of publicly available data. However, the unit cost is estimated to be higher than that of the C-295, primarily due to its larger size and greater payload capacity. As of October 2024, the Indian Air Force has received six C-295 aircraft from Airbus's facility in Seville, Spain, with plans to induct a total of 56 units. The remaining 40 aircraft are slated for assembly at the newly inaugurated TASL facility in Vadodara, Gujarat, with the first Indian-assembled C-295 expected by September 2026. These aircraft are intended to replace the IAF's aging Avro 748 fleet, enhancing tactical airlift capabilities. Regarding exports, while the primary focus has been on fulfilling the IAF's requirements, the establishment of the Vadodara facility positions India as a potential hub for future C-295 exports to other countries. On the other hand, production of the Y-9 began around 2010, with the aircraft entering service in 2012. The exact number of Y-9 units produced is not publicly disclosed, but the aircraft has been widely adopted within various branches of the Chinese military. Notably, the Y-9 has been deployed in regions like the South China Sea, supporting China's strategic interests. In terms of exports, Myanmar is known to operate at least one Y-9 aircraft, indicating limited international sales. In summary, both Tata Airbus C-295 and China's Shanxi Y-9 serve as vital military transport aircraft with unique strengths tailored to their country's needs. Both aircraft enhance their respective nations' transport capabilities. The choice between them reflects each country's strategic goals and operational demands. Which transport aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.